hate homework. This is so difficult. Oh shit, nerd! Yo, nerd. Greetings, Earthling. Please never say that again. Come here for a bit, though. Okay, coming. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> nerd has no idea what's coming. <laughs> nerd trip of Universe 17 at your service. How may I be of assistance? Bro, I got an amazing deal for you, man. Bro, best deal. Do my homework or I'll whoop your ass. Oh my god! Wow! Wow, you really mean it? Okay, what a bargain. He has no idea how hard this homework is. <laughs> Yay, I can't wait. Say no more. Here you go. I don't need your pencil. I have my own. No, it can't be. Let go. It can't be. There's no way. He has the legendary pencil. He achieved Ultra Instinct Nerd. How did he achieve his power level so fast? How did he do this? How has he reached this form so quickly? Your homework is now complete. Ultra Instinct Nerd. That homework was so hard, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I can only hold that power level for 17 minutes. Thank you so much, man. I have no idea how I can ever repay you. Now that I think about it, there is one thing you can do for me. How can I repay you? Oh, please, Trevor, oh, please. I love Metal Foes. I love Metal Foes so much. Can you please make a cool combo negate video with Metal Foes? Please, 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 please. I got you, bro. Yeah! Shout out Nerd Trip for doing my homework. Amen to him. That guy got strong as hell. Holy shit, that guy's been training or something. Got all trained to that quickly. But say thank you to him in the comments right now. Say thank you, Nerd Trip. Thank you, Nerd Trip, for giving us this amazing metal foe combo tutorial. Enjoy greatness. I ended up looping Mithrilium, some performance battle cards, Electrum going back. It's absolutely amazing. Holy shit. So brace yourselves for this. It's absolutely remarkable. I'm going to do more videos in the future. So hit the subscribe button and enjoy, guys. Nerd Trip saved my ass of the homework. So we are going to show you guys his favorite deck, Metal Foes. 6-7 negates by a loop. A new loop I figured out. It's not a forever loop, but it's a solid uh, loop that goes on for a few, a few plays. So a few monsters. Loops, Mithrilium, bringing back Electrum, using Electrum again, using Mithrilium's uh, uh, Grave uh, Float Effect twice, and looping a Perform Pal twice. I'm going to show you guys now exactly. Now this hand I picked to start, I'm going to show you guys a few hands. This hand that I showed to start uh, isn't the best for hand traps, but it's really just to show you guys a combo tutorial, how to do the combo. And then the other hands, like uh, most hands play through hand traps, like this, doesn't matter what hand trap they have, you destroy them, doesn't matter what hand trap they have, you destroy them. Uh, you really, any hand plays through hand traps, this one, uh, not so much, but I just wanted to show you guys, because it's a typical one. You know, you open three metal four, a Dr. Cerberus is like a typical metal four hand, right? That's why I thought it would be pretty cool to show you guys what a normal metal four deck could do. And then the other replays I'm going to show you guys will play through, how to play through hand traps. Uh, uh, when you have, oh, like, this is obviously a bad hand you open with because uh, it's susceptible to hand traps. But normal hands don't give a fuck about that because they're all amazing. Now, in honor of Nerd Trip for doing my homework, I'm taking off this robe and get brace yourselves for the greatest combo, metaphor combo you've ever seen in, in human history. Okay, now we're gonna keep going here. I'm not gonna talk about much until I pendulum summon because obviously that's when the uh, shenanigans start happening. And I pendulum summon is gonna be weak, it's gonna be three monsters, but I'm gonna show you guys how it's gonna end up. Absolutely insane. So what you're going to see is the work Sorcerer is about to put in. Sorcerer and Metal Foes are like peanut butter and jelly, okay? You can't take them out. You can't take them apart. They must be together in one. Ah, okay, together with one. This is how me and Nurture of our boys, all right? Together as one. You can't separate them. They must be together, okay? Uh, look what it's going to do now. It's going to add you three cards, all of which are necessary for the seven negate combo or five negate, depending on whatever you want to do. So pop combination and a scale, okay? And you get a level 7 full point, very important. A perform by Dragon, which you're going to guard Dragon combo with. And perform by Yuga Golem, which you're going to loop with Mithrilium twice. To add back two cards and Fusion Summon for free twice. What's that mean? You're about to figure it out for yourself. Volt, uh, Servant can trigger now, so you're going to get more monsters on board. Volt Flame, Pop Ravine, which is why Field Spells are great in this deck with Metal Foes. It's free stuff to pop. Uh, that time it sucked because we didn't even use it, but whatever, we just popped it. Now we're going to Fusion, Electrum, and... Uh, Dragon, and you're going to see what I mean by the loop. It's not a huge loop, but it's going to go on for a few turns. Yugo Golem is going to add back the Coin Dragon. Right? And now, Mithrilium is going to add Yugo Golem back. Oh, you're going to draw first. 
You Golem is gonna uh Bitulim is gonna add back you Golem to your hand. Is you Golem is not a hard ones per turn. And then you're gonna add you Golem back, and after you use Sayuja, you're gonna use Yugo Golem again and fusion again. And Mithrilium will loop another monster to come on board, and you uh, bring your Electrum back into the extra deck to use eventually in the turn again. So it's like the combo is just insane. You can do literally whatever the hell you want. You bring in a Metal Steel steal it, and you can just keep going, do whatever you want from here on in. Uh, it just, you keep looping forever, uh, and it's amazing. With each solution that you make, you add another negate. So this one, we're gonna add a Hot Red, and you can Vortex, you can do so much stuff that I haven't even reached the potential yet of this deck. Uh, like, look how much potential it has, it's unbelievable. Uh, so we're gonna get a Melvo Fusion, and we're gonna make the Metrolium here. We could have, uh, what we, I probably should have done, to be honest, was uh, make an Electro. That's what I should have done. But I'm like, you know what, we'll save the Electro for next turn, because it's like, you can do so much stuff, it's unbelievable. You can make a, you can get a Sayusha Special anything, make Electro, send Chronograph, Chrono Special Code, you can do so much stuff, it's unreal. But we're gonna do instead is we're gonna loop that you go one more time, because uh, we would not loop, but we got it back from the Metrolium. To be able to use Metrolium's floating effect one more time again. Because you're gonna use Metrolium twice in this turn, you can go them twice, and we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna add back the Coin Dragon. So you fusion something for free all the time with you can go them like that. Uh, like you turn Electrum into the Metrolium for free. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is, uh, you can't Metrolium first effect twice, but it floats twice, and then we special the Coin Dragon with Sayuja, uh, doing the whole Guard Dragon play now. So you're gonna special up the Strudo to do some more stuff. As you see, you just continually plus, 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 plus. Now, the Strudo and Sayuja are going to go into Agar. And here's where you can do a lot of cool stuff. You can go into uh, another Sayuja if you want with all four of them. Float another, float again, and free to Strudo by this. But I opted to go for uh, Abyss just to show you guys the, the play. With the four of those cards, now you're going to have the... You're going to make the Sayuja here. This, I wouldn't make a Boral Sword instead. Boral Sword would have been better probably instead of a Sayuja. Or what you should, probably should have done was uh, LP and Agar. Here's what, should have, what I think is the best play was... LP and Agar Pain uh, should have gone into Heretic Link. Then Mithrilium will still be there. Then you bring out the Strudo. Then you would Yazi. Uh, I think we could have done this combo of Volflame over here somehow. I'm sure we could have. So it could have been Yazi bring a Volflame. Or sorry, Meteor Burst bring a Volflame, make Absolute. Then you could have special uh, Big and Demon. Like, there's so much stuff you could have done. But we have to hear Sayuja. Just get the free summon. Uh, we don't want to think too much. There's too much thinking involved at the time of doing those live on streams. I was whatever, I'll do whatever I felt like. But you could tell how there's so many op uh, plays you could do. It's unbelievable. Uh, so we're gonna make uh, we're gonna bring out any monster. We chose Gold Driver. We're gonna destroy it. Make Drexel. There's so much plays you could do. Like you could Heretic Link. You could uh, make an Electrum with Jacqueline and Gold Driver. Uh, pop this. Add Chronograph and then, uh, get the big Anemia with this. Do so much other stuff. Make out Vortex. You can do so much to make another. So usually you keep playing. Like, it's unbelievable how much stuff you could do. But we opted, you know what? Save the Electro. It doesn't matter. Uh, just have yourself a fat board anyways. Uh, Dragster. And then you didn't use the user's effect yet. You can't drop four because you used three monsters for it. But Swap Power Mastery. Add the big Endymion. Which I realized wasn't even in the deck at this point. I put it in later, obviously. And you get the big Endymion. Double Jackal. Dragster. Hot Red Dragon. Archfiend Abyss. And I'm sure we could have turned this into a Radic Link if we wanted to. And it's really just utilizing the effects of Yugo Golem. Uh, Mithrilium twice. And... Uh, the sorcerer plusing so much on sorcerer the coin dragon the dragon like it's amazing honestly it's so cool and sick and you save the electron for next turn so super cool i'm gonna show you guys another hand here i want to fast forward it though uh here this is one of my first hands i did uh on stream obviously we got the big endemia on there but uh there's the same deck at the time uh you protect yourself from a hand trap so a jackal protects your electron and you keep going here you just all you do is pen all you need to do is pendulum sorcerer uh, pendulum sorcerer and that's it this was a weak hand. Like, look, this is a weak hand. Like, it was a weak hand. We only picked up three monsters and we had no Endymion after. Like, right? uh, weak hand still resolves in the same combo. And you keep going. You just, uh, like, bro, it is absolutely amazing. Use one of the metal balls to get fusion. We didn't use that yet. And then you just keep looping, like I said, like, right? This, we had to do a more awkward play because we didn't have a, a pendulum and grave, I believe. So we did a more awkward play to do it, but it ends up in the same result. Because you want to vote for him out as well. You just keep going. Right? We looped that time. We threw them twice before we saw Yujad. So different hands will be different, obviously. Uh, you're going to do so much stuff. It's crazy. Here, like I, I didn't want to think too much. So I just did that. Here's where I, I shouldn't have Absolute Worth. Like, there's so much stuff you can do. You guys see like Absolute. You do different stuff and keep going. I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm going to fast forward. You end up with all the same board. Like this is like one sec. Let me go back to this. Like, it, it, everything you say, like, hand traps are, you always protect yourself through hand traps, which is amazing because of the jackals, right? So here is, uh, I don't like the play I did. 
Uh, I should have made an Electrum and uh, make more so Yuzhars and keep going, but I misplayed. Uh, I should have made an Electrum uh, before I LP'd. Uh, I could have done a lot of stuff. Before I LP'd, I should have Electrum because your Electrum saved by the Mithrilliums, right? But I just opted not to do it. Uh, so I did misplay, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, you should have Electrum before this. So you have uh, so use your Vortex, draw four, put back three. And here, I'm just like, you know what? Uh, this Jackal... The pseudo make erratic link. This is five five interruptions. Uh, typically, you're gonna have Alcatraz as well. Obviously, Alcatraz was in the first one, but this is with no plus cards. You had no plus cards to start whatsoever. Like you had no plusing whatsoever in this uh, opening hand was a bad hand, but we still ended up with uh, five interruptions easily playing fucking metal folds. Uh, it's super cool and uh, I really like it. Obviously, the board you could have done better here with the board. We should have Electrum because if you Electrum, you would have done more stuff. We would have. Uh, just keep on going. We didn't hot red. We should have easily hot red on top of all this stuff. Uh, uh, for, like I said, for some reason, we just... Uh, I screwed up while I did it. But just showing guys the... Uh, not so much the end board of this. This was The end board was normal as this. This is the normal end board. Uh, I want to show you guys more so just the idea that you can keep doing whatever you want with it. That's the whole idea of why I want to show you this. Now, again, just a normal hand. This one sucked. This hand sucked the most because you only play two performer piles. That's why you play 60 cards as well. You don't want to draw your two performer pile targets. So, uh, and you want this in your hand to trigger off Yuga Golem a lot. We've had the Pendulum Summon it. So, you end up uh, losing. It's like playing with four cards instead of five. Uh, and that's the whole thing. We're going to fast forward this, show you guys even with bad hands. Like, you guys see what I mean? It's like, we might as well just uh, had uh, had this in the deck. Uh, it would have been the exact same result. So, you were playing with four cards to start. And, like, no turbo, no good sick cards, no plus cards. I'm going to make a Mithrilio. Add that back. And you're gonna do so, we're going to keep going. Like... Every turn does it. Like, yeah, like it, it's just a cool way to ensure uh, to be able to play the coolest cards ever, Performer Piles and Metal Foles. And look at that. You just gonna keep going. Uh, like, it's so cool, man. I have so much fun playing this deck. Uh, and again, I, I should have Electrum first, I believe. Yeah, I should have 100% Electrum before I LP'd because uh, you could have ended up with more negates, free link climbing, and it's gonna end up with uh, the same like five negate type of stuff, but with more cards in hand here. Uh, if you made Electrum, you would have free. If, if I Electrum first, the end result would have been uh, Alkahas as well. So if I Electrum first, I would have popped to free up the scale so I could summon out a fusion. And the Electrum and the Metal Foil would have turned into Alkahas. So you would have had Alkahas on top. And one of these Jackals could have been uh, the big Endemium, but I didn't have it at the deck at the time. So you, this hand was six negates. This hand was six negates, except I screwed this one up, so it's five. Uh, this one was simply six if I just did Electrum first. And this is. Uh, Five, but I could have done seven with the Heretic Link first. But again, it is showing guys like the crazy, crazy potential of it. And this is not nearly the last thing I do with this. I just want to show you guys the combo it's, uh, tutorial itself. And show you guys even crazier combos in a few days. And I'm going to show the deck profile tomorrow. As long as, hey, maybe uh, Ultra Instinct Nurture if is going to get into a fight with, uh, hint, hint, uh, spoiler alert, Thanos. Thanos versus Ultra Instinct Nurture. What's going to happen, boys? Find out next time on Trip Gaming. That's the video, guys. Hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys tomorrow's video. Peace.